I guess I've been pretty obsessed with what's been happening in America and kind of watching the steady decline of democracy over there. Um, and this country that used to seem like, I don't know, the world-class standard of democratic process has kind of just been going to shit. And it got me wondering whether we were headed in the right direction with our own country um, and whether these kind of, you know, as stories come out about there being more money in politics and um, political donations and an increase in lobbying and all that stuff, I just started to really wonder whether it's healthy for our democracy and, and who it really benefits. I hope people actually just kind of understand the reality of the situation and they understand that the political system here might not be exactly what they think it is uh, and that our democracy does have other influences. Um, I guess for me personally, when I got taken down to Canberra as a teenager and was shown the, you know, the Senate and the lower house and here's how politics works, no one ever spoke to me about the millions of dollars of donations that go to, to both the major parties. No one ever spoke about the kind of huge amounts of money that doesn't have to be transparently told to the public. I have a lot of political arguments amongst my family or with mates that I grew up with and it feels like we're all very divided at the moment in terms of left, right, you know, um, where you sit on the political spectrum and I just started to feel like this seemed to be an issue that perhaps lots of people could kind of unite around because it doesn't seem to be great for any of us. When you're dealing with an issue as dense and effectively boring as money in <laughs> politics, um, we thought it was important just to kind of uh, try and find some light within it. And I guess, I know for me personally, I've, I've always found it very complicated and hard to get my head around. So I just wanted to make it simple and, and easy for people to understand because I think that's part of an issue like this is if people just think it's all too hard basket and too difficult, then they don't actually kind of realise the way that it affects them. I guess what I was surprised to learn was that being really cynical doesn't help and doesn't actually achieve anything and you actually have to engage with democracy for democracy to work for you. It almost seems like a silly thing but it's you actually have to do something for something to get done for you and I guess like it's that seems like it should go without saying because we, we understand that on every other level of life but I guess kind of discovering that that is really the key to de democracy working is engaging with it and, um, you know, genuinely kind of forming groups with other people and finding other people who uh, care about the same issues that you do and actually kind of doing something about it is the only way to get anything done. It doesn't matter what, whether you're a lefty or whether you lean a bit right wing or you're a bit conservative or whatever you, whatever your tendency politically might be, I feel like this issue of money and politics is something that affects everybody. Um, and that's like, you know, regardless of class, race, you know, um, all the rest of it. I was pretty nervous about, you know, doing a documentary because I'd never um, worked in this space before, but, um, you know, hopefully it doesn't suck.